people often ask, hey, Brathe, what do I need to show you to convince you that you should work with me and mentor us as a startup? Everybody likes to do business plans. A lot of people like to do the business canvas. There's uh, one page marketing plans and those are all great. But I think it starts with a conversation that uh, includes these five things. Your startup costs, your 12 month projections, your three year projections, who your team is and uh, what your ideas uh, really are. So we'll start with the startup costs. If you're coming in pre-revenue uh, or before launch, you really got to keep your startup costs to a minimum. And you, you, uh, you're, it's very tempting to pay yourself, uh, but as a startup, you should be working for somebody else or you should have some investment, uh, especially in your own time uh, or with your own time and your own money before you go and, and reach out to others. You should have some projections and a lot of people don't know where to start with numbers. You can get templates for these off of the SCORE website, 12 month P&L projections, profit and loss. So if you can figure out what you hypothetically would make in a month, and a lot of people make the mistake of overestimating the first month. If you're starting in July 1st, which is already a few days past from uh, when this video was filmed, you may not make any money in the month of July, but that should be the first month on your 12 month P&L. And you, you, you factor in what revenue is coming in, what expenses, and it will help you realistically project out for a full year. And once you have that 12 month profit and loss, you can then from there develop uh, three years out uh, and, and show some growth and responsible growth. You don't want one of those hockey stick things where you grow 5%, 5% and then 300%. It's unrealistic, but you wanna show some numbers to show that there are, is some growth potential. Your team, and that doesn't mean you. Uh, there, yes, there's you and your team, but you've gotta have a team. You've gotta have advisors, uh, it doesn't mean you have to have employees, but you should have people backing you. And I've seen a lot of great presentations lately by startups who have a board of advisors who might have a, a partner or some people on board or some freelancers they work with, but you've got to show that other people are on board with this idea. And your ideas, and that's the thing you, you, you need to demonstrate. You don't have to give away all your intellectual property, but talk to us about some of the things you're thinking about. You know, what's the next product? What are other things you might want to do to grow your business? And if you can get these things together, I'd love to talk to you. Uh, we have a program we call Mentoring Through Intellectual Capital, where we'll invest some time in you in exchange for some equity uh, if you don't have a budget uh, for a consultant or an advisor. Uh, and we've worked with companies before, somewhere between 5 and 10% equity in exchange for a, a decent amount of time and support in getting your idea off the ground. So if you can get these together, some basic numbers, a clear team and some advisors and some ideas to show that you know what you're talking about, you're the kind of people we want to work with.